Alarm bells have been raised as we've discovered the links between low magnesium and serious health problems. But is boosting magnesium intake the right approach? Well, it turns out there's a big problem with how many health influencers are interpreting this research. So let's start with the linkage. Magnesium plays an important role in many processes within the body. And we've discovered that when it's too low, this is associated with serious health problems. So for example, one of them is heart disease. A 2013 study involving over 300,000 people showed that higher magnesium levels were associated with a 30% lower risk of heart disease. You can see this quite clearly on a graph from a separate study. It shows that low magnesium levels are associated with a 36% higher risk of death compared to high levels of magnesium. And it's not just heart disease. Higher magnesium intakes are associated with a lower risk of strokes according to a study involving over 240,000 people. And a 2011 study involving over 500,000 people showed that higher magnesium intakes are associated with a 22% reduction in the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. And the list goes on. Low magnesium intake is associated with dementia, poor hearing, Parkinson's disease, depression, anxiety and more. But there's something critical to notice about these studies and it's something that many health influencers miss. Many of the data that we have is of observational studies. So what these studies give us are associations, but associations by themselves don't necessarily point to a causation. So take the example of higher magnesium intakes as being associated with lower risks of type 2 diabetes. It might be that more magnesium directly lowers these risks, but it could also be that higher magnesium intake is due to a much better diet, and it's the better diet that's lowering the risk. So the point here is that we don't know for sure without doing randomized controlled trials where we can isolate the impact of magnesium alone. So we can't say just yet that getting more magnesium alone will lower our risks of type 2 diabetes. We have to address our diet and not just rely on supplements.